Hi, so um, I decided to come along to the uh, the NTN uh, motor show in iTech. Um, the main reason I wanted to come here was to see the uh, cars that have come across uh, from Thailand, the really uh, excellent like modified cars. Um, I saw a post about them on Facebook and they're really the cars I'm really most interested in and um, like the Honda S2000 and this like uh, Mercedes 190A and uh, really really beautifully modified like um, EG Civic um, with like really impressive uh, rear wing and um, some other Hondas um, that will come along to um, this, this uh, light blue Honda EG looks like it's got a um, front mounted intercooler so I bet it's really fast and it's got a full cage and it's on racing slicks I, I imagine it's like a really quick car um, I hope in the future to do more features on cars like this in Thailand um, and a more up-to-date Civic which is really um, looking really stunning in green and um, another EG Civic in black with a uh, I think it's with a turbo case what This one is it like a uh, racing EG Civic with a turbo case swap engine and uh, looks really, uh, really cool. Um, and a flat fronted Porsche 911, like not old, old school, like 9, uh, 933 style. Uh, th these all came. Uh, on the transport from Thailand, I was found about it from Facebook. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have gone to the um, motor show in iTech um, because, like, some of the previous motor shows have just been like loads of promoting loads of Chinese EVs, um, which I don't find too exciting. I, I really find these like older, like, really highly modified. Like, cars from Thailand really um, exciting and I hope to do more videos in the future um, in Thailand um, about these cars this year, later on this year. Um, here's a later model series and uh, yeah these are the this was definitely the highlight of the show. Um, anyway just like Enjoy looking around like the these um, this style of car, and I went to look at some of the other stands. I I didn't cover all of the stands from the um, run of the mill cars that you can buy in Lao because there's just so many Chinese cars. I really just concentrated on the stands where there's some kind of hot looking models. Um, some really beautiful like Lao models. Um, Hyundai uh, is a really big brand in um, Lao. Um, they, they have some uh, they have some nice models on their stand. Um, not just the cars. It's quite a small show, really, to be honest. I mean, this, um, I did have a quick look at the um, the AIC stand because they had some really um, cool looking uh, Jeep clones, like rugged looking Jeep type SUVs, but they're like a camping theme on their stand. I mean, they're a Chinese company, but they're just they definitely make some quite uh, cool looking uh, 
tough SUVs that are ideal for now. Kind of, um, overlanding. So I thought they were quite interesting. Uh, they're not something you see much in Europe or elsewhere. I've never I've seen some of these brands only okay, now. And there's some generic uh, EVs. The GAC, which is another Chinese company. Most of them make EVs, but they have some pretty nice models, so I included them. And also, um, all of these uh, Chinese EVs really look the same to me. They look like clones, but uh, no. so I just concentrated on some where there's a nice eye candy. And um, um, this is a luxury Chinese brand. Um, they're like th these cars, like Hongi, Hong Hongis. They're more expensive than Mercedes and Rolls Royce. That's quite interesting. Um, but they're not really well known outside of China. Um, DFSK are a more budget friendly Chinese brand. And they had some nice models. Uh, I do, uh, to be honest, I didn't look at all of the uh, um, all of the Chinese brands because they all look the same. Um, this manufacturer, Radar, had some nice models, and they also had a camping theme. Um, even though I'm not sure what you're going to do if you go camping with an EV where you would recharge it to go home. Um, that was fair play. I mean, something a little bit different. And if you've got some uh, cool models, which is like camping gear. I mean, a 100% EV pickup in a country like Laos, where there were so many power cars, I don't really understand how it's popped how it's like practical but um, they're really being pushed by the Chinese and outside um, there's some American muscle um, really nice um, uh, Chevrolet Camaro late model Chevrolet Camaro and late model Mustang um, there's actually you actually see quite a few um, American muscle cars in um, in and around Vientiane because the tax is quite is lower than other Southeast Asian countries. And here's a a uh, Chrysler Prowler, which is quite a unique car in um, with a very unique uh, paint job in chrome. Um, I'm not sure it's really my cup of tea, but it's certainly stunning to look at. Um, hopefully, you don't get too much of a reflection of my ugly mug while I'm walking around it with my GoPro. Um, but it's definitely worth a uh, look in my video. And um, finally, I finished up with uh, having a look at some cool motorbikes. There's a really big um, off-road motorbike scene, like um, enduro motorbike scene. There's a, uh, um, and I actually ride a uh, dual sport, Chinese dual sport motorbike when I'm in uh, Laos myself. It's ideal for the road conditions here. There's some really cool looking Harleys. Um, not ideal for now, but I really appreciate the beauty of them. Anyway, I really appreciate you watching my video, and if you uh, could.